Here's a lesson on Long Distance Runaround by Yes and Steve Howe's guitar part. Let's look at the intro riff. Okay, so our first thing is D string. We're going 15th to 14th on a slide with the ring finger. 12 on the G string, and then we're going down all these 15s here with this ring finger. And then we got a... So that was 13 to 12 on the E string, 13 on the B, 12 on the G. And we start out the same way. Do the same pull off there, but then they're going to go... So that was 15 to 17 on the little E, and then 15, and then 16 to 17 on the B string. Does that bit again, and then it has a different bit down here. 6th fret to 5th fret on the E. So that's 6 to 5, and then 6. 7 on the next string, 8 on the next string, 7 to 5 on that same D string, and then 6 to 7 on the A. And then our next part is down here part of an E minor triad. So we got little sets of three notes there. We got 7, 8, 9, 8, and then 10, 8, both on the B. 10 and 12, 10, both on the B, and then 12 on the E, 13, 11 on the B, 13 on the E, 15, 12 on the B. And then you're back to the beginning part. Other part. So it does that all the way through twice, then the third time it goes into the riff, it's not going to do this very last set of three notes, it's only going to do those first four. So this third one is a little bit shortened. Here goes the shortened one. And then we have this little prelude to the first verse. And that's 7 to 9 on the A and 7 to 9 on the D. And then you're going to go 14 on the G, 12, a little trill, 11 and 12. Back to the riff. And then this time on the G, you got 11, 9, 7. And then the verse begins. Now, once we've done those first three, the first one was, and then the next one was just the two hammer-ons. Then you do that first thing again. Now, the next thing that happens is we do this riff, but it's going to be four times in a row of that same riff while the chords are kind of changing and the time signature is kind of changing underneath. So that verse is going to be first part. Now we're going to have four of those things. One, two, three, four. Now the next one is going to add that little G note on the fifth fret of the D string. So let's say we did the four in a row. We're doing this new next one. And then we have this. So that's five to seven on the A string. Back to that G there. And then we got so two hammer-ons, and then we're going to follow the bass riff this first time. So that was five, seven, eight, 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 seven, 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 five, five, three, 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 one, one, oh, three. That's the C note on the fifth string. So let's try that again. So we can have from the change after the four in a row, we got. Note on the fifth string. 
Then we're gonna go to this lower riff that's similar to the intro lick. But it's a little bit different. It goes 13 to 12, and then 10 over here, but then it goes 10 or 12, 13, 13. So it goes 13 to 12 on the D, 10 on the G. Now it's a little different than the other one because remember we had all on the same fret. This one's going to be 12, 13, 13. Same kind of ending. And then really quickly after that second time, the guitar jumps into a, like before the bass even had a chance to hit its thing. So it's kind of like the end of that measure. So this is going to be... bass finishes its riff slightly after that and then we catch up then we got those four in a row and then we got the new one and then we only have time this time for the and we have to jump back up to like the intro riff, but it's going to have the new shape of the other one here. So that's going to be... So that's 15, 14, and then 12 in the G, and then 14, 15, 15, like that lower one was. We're going to do that three times. And then we're going down two frets, same thing. Back to that quick riff, and then the bass, you know, follows that. So when we come back, so the other line, the bass line, does its full. So we're keeping in mind that that did that riff, and we're coming in with the next one after that, without that lower bass note. And then we'll have with that lower bass note. Now we're doing those four in a row. And this is the third verse now. One more of those. And then we got the next one. Now, once we do those two, we got to go back to the proper intro. But the intro isn't going to go like two plus times. It's going to go one plus times. So we'll do one full one and one shorter one. So we're coming out of this thing. Intro. Lower riff. Now it's going to end shorter this time. This time it jumps right to the right to the verse. This is the fourth verse. We got our four in a row. That's two, three, four. Now the next one. And then we're coming back up to this. Slightly different than the intro riff. And it just does the same thing three times. Then we go two frets lower. Now we're ready for the outro. So that's 13 to 12 on the B string within the next two strings on the 12. So that was. 13, 12, 12, 13, 12, and then 12, 12. And then we got 15, 14, 14, 14. And then we got 17 to 16, and then 18 on the G, back to the 16, 17. And right then, Steve Howe starts on this G note, the first fret way down here in the G string, G sharp, goes up to its octave, and then he has some delays and stuff on after a minute, he goes. So that's 13, 14, 16. 
like twice. 14, 16, 17. And then like, same thing on the next one. And it's the notes of like this E major scale. That kind of stuff. And he puts delays, they start layering on top of each other. Now one added little trick. So those are harmonics on the big four strings on the 12th fret and then the 7th fret. Alright, I hope you dug that. I'm going to run through these parts again one more time. should have gone because that was the beginning of a regular verse that uh steve howe one of the greatest guitar players ever yes one of the greatest bands ever long distance run around in my opinion and one of their greatest songs ever i hope you guys have a great day uh, like and subscribe let me know what songs you want to hear next thanks a lot i'm damon wood peace out check you later